Hi guys! I don't know what I just did with my hands, but we're just gonna roll with it. Today I thought I would just test out this Tutti Frutti Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation from Too Faced. I got some samples from an Ulta purchase and I thought, you know what? I'm running low on foundation. Why not just test it out, try it out, and see if I like it? We can do a full day wear test. Hopefully you guys like these type of videos. I love doing beauty videos. I love makeup. I really enjoy making them, so hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. Uh, if you do, you can go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below, or you can hit that like button and just let me know that you like this type of video. Let's go ahead and talk about my skin really quick. I'd say my skin is more combo now. Uh, it used to be more normal to dry, but I think it's more combo. I've been breaking out a lot more recently, uh, trying to switch products and switch my skincare up because my skin has just been crazy. It's been acting crazy. I mainly don't have too many active breakouts now. It's mainly just scarring. That is what we're working with. So my skin is more combo to oily, I guess now. I mainly get oily in my T-zone, but my cheeks recently have been, been getting a lot more oily. I don't know, I feel like my skin is just changing. So, that's where my skin is at. I'm so weird, oh my gosh. It's fine, it's fine. Another thing that I wanted to test out was the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer. And I also got samples. We've got the color Major, Everything, Hype, and Savage. I guess we'll just see where this look takes me, but I'm thinking that I'm most likely going to go with Major. I zoomed you guys in so you can see the application better. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some chapstick real quick. This is Thrive Markets Peppermint Lip Balm. And this is the absolute best lip balm that I have ever tried. And I have tried a lot of lip balms. I've been skipping all over face primer. Um, I do use this Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner every now and again. I just have a little bit of texture right here that I want to cover. So, get that. And I'm just going to place it just right here. And sometimes I do place this on my nose, but my nose uh, pores have been all right lately, so I don't really need to do that. Now, since I have been getting a little bit more oily, I'm hoping that this dewy finish isn't going to make me look like a oil slick by the end of the day. I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes dewy foundations do me dirty. The Too Faced Tutti Frutti foundation comes in 20 versatile shades. It is supposed to hydrate and brighten your complexion with this long wearing watermelon, cucumber, and vitamin C infused gel cream foundation that covers every flaw while creating a dewy, fresh, and luminous glow. New use smooths, moisturizes, and nourishes skin for a flawless, fresh complexion that's one in a melon. That's really cute. I have snow, light beige, warm sand, and toffee. Let me see if it smells like anything. <sighs> that smells so good. It smells like honeydew melon with a hint of cucumber. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Ooh, that's gonna be really light. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix in the light beige. I don't know if I need more of the darker color or not, but let's just go ahead and do this. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh my gosh, you look a mess already. Ooh, I really should have mixed in more of that darker color. I made a mistake. Okay, well, that is looking really pretty.
I'm really loving the smell of this foundation. Like that's probably weird to say. It smells so good. Kind of reminds me of when I was growing up and when that whole cucumber melon thing was a craze. I'm still crazy for that scent. Like that was the best ever. A trick that I've learned is if you just kind of like go like this, you can get your double chin really well. You see, and then you can just blend it right on down. That's just where the product was sitting and I don't, it doesn't feel irritated or hurty in any way. It just, that's just what my skin does. My skin is so weird. I do have some scabs and it does look like to me anyways, that it is showing that dryness a little bit. Now this is in the shade Toffee, same foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and contour or just like brighten my face up a little bit, like bronze, I guess I should say. Okay, that's a good color. Ooh, I really like that color. And we're done. Just kidding. <laughs> that looks really good. I probably should have gone in with my concealer first before doing that, but I got so excited that I forgot. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Light Sand. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I forgot what it was called. Before I go in and set everything, I have been using the Ulta Beauty Face Highlighter color stick and this is in the shade pixie dust i love this highlighter i think it's amazing just take it on a brush i want to say that the concealer blended beautifully into the foundation sometimes foundations in general just don't work with even the best concealers so i just wanted to say that it did blend really well and it didn't pick up or get patchy or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of my makeup.
after about a million years later, I'm finally ready to put on the lip color. I believe I'm gonna go with Major. This Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer is supposed to be a high shine liquid lipstick with full coverage color and lacquer like finish. Good for skin, moisturizing mineral complex for ultra comfortable wear. I line my lips really quick with this Rimmel London pencil in the shade, I think it's natural. Now normally I am more of a matte liquid lipstick type of a girl just because I feel like it stays put longer. The color is gorgeous. I don't think that this is gonna dry down because it is a high shine lip gloss. No, not lip gloss. Liquid lipstick. It does seem to be more like a lip gloss consistency though. And I think that it will just gradually wear off like a lip gloss or a lipstick would. It doesn't feel like super sticky, but it does feel like lip gloss. Like. I'm going to do a full day wear test. It is already later in the day. I had a later start. Then to top it off, I was watching TV shows while I was doing my makeup, which always makes me way slower in the makeup process. So anyway, it is 3.52. I'm gonna go ahead and go on with my day. I don't really have anything planned. I'm probably gonna edit. Uh, part of this video. I will check in with you guys a little bit later and we can go from there. It is now 8.17 so the foundation has been on for about four hours now. It does look like it is getting a little bit shiny in my nose area. It's typically where I get oily. I think it's still looking really good. And check in in a little bit. It is now 12.10. This is what my face is looking like. It does look to be a little bit oily in t-zone area but it's really not bad and even under studio lights normally I am super oily especially if it is a dewy foundation or a natural finish foundation the lipstick wore off very gradually I guess there is still some in the corners of my mouth which is not cute overall it is a good lipstick if you're looking for one that's more moisturizing and one that just kind of wears off naturally and gradually instead of just one that's staying matte and staying put, I am going to put on a little bit of lip balm. I have not touched up my face or my lip or anything like that other than putting on this chapstick right now. It looks really, really good. The only place that I feel like it is really oily is my nose and my forehead. My cheeks are getting a little oily. My chin really isn't that bad and normally it does get quite a bit oily. Um, it did crease right here every single foundation I've ever owned. Um, as I get older, creases right here. But this actually is not that bad compared to other foundations that I've had. Like this is really minimal and my forehead wrinkles, it does look like it settled into the forehead wrinkle lines of just like a tad bit. But you know what? It's not bad. I'm not taking points off from that because every single foundation I own does that. And this is very, very minimal. Eight hours, a good eight hours. And part of that eight hours, I was in the sun maybe for... Mm, like an hour, like direct sunlight. I'm just trying to give you guys every little bit of information in case you are wanting 
to buy this or you've been interested in buying this or you see this review and you're suddenly interest, interested in buying it. I don't really know what else to say other than I really like it. I actually think I'm going to purchase the full size of it. I like it that much. I'm like dab it away. Like this. Put a little bit more of my Laura Mercier setting powder. Like I'm literally going to be taking my makeup off as soon as I'm done with this. But just for the sake of the video, here we go. Oh, I got powder in my eyebrow. And I look fresh as a daisy. Look at that. I like it. I'm really seriously considering purchasing the full size. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Give this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe because that would be cool and I really love that my channel is growing. Makes my heart happy. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Do you want to say hi? You do? Okay. You were in this video, huh? So now you have to be. <laughs> okay.